So with those um, uh, few words, and um, besides applying for East Africa, please apply for visas to all Africa, because that's the place to be. I'd like to now invite the, our first Deputy Prime Minister, Right Honorable Rebecca Kadaga, to come and give her keynote address. Thank you. Habari da subui. Bonjour. Good morning. I thought I should speak the languages of this South African community. Right uh, Honorable Tayewa and all distinguished guests, uh, Mr. Mutensa, our host. I'm really happy to be here today. I was here at the beginning at the first UK convention, and I'm happy to be here for the 14th. I want to really thank Mr. Mutensa for the resilience, the tenacity, innovation that has enabled it to keep it running all this time. And I want to thank you all for coming to support this convention. Last year when I spoke here, I was speaking for seven countries. Today I'm speaking for eight countries. At that time, the East African community spanned from the Indian Ocean up the port of Matadi on the Atlantic. Since then we have added the Federal Republic of Somalia, which has brought 3,000 kilometers of coastline. So all these are opportunities. Uh, last year's theme was unlocking Uganda's trade investment and export potential. The discussion then revolved around enhancing access to markets in the UK, Europe, and the Commonwealth. I believe we did justice to that topic. I hope we can hear the outcomes of that meeting. Things are getting better uh, in the East African region. The East African community is ranked number one by sub uh, population. We boost uh, a lot of uh, stability. <coughs> we are both English-speaking and French-speaking. Uh, we have an enterprising workforce, strategically located, and we have exceptional uh, natural resources. And I can assure that uh, an investment in Uganda or any of the other countries gives you access to a potential market of over 300 million people. Some of the main strengths of the ESC include uh, capacity to attract FDI because of the fast economic growth, the low general government debt, the low cost of labor, geographical proximity to regional markets, and the international markets through the EU, US and China and India trade agreements. Uh, this is uh, buttressed by the Common Market Protocol, which creates a single market uh, in Africa, uh, enabling the free movement of people, goods, uh, services, capital throughout the eight countries. It also establishes the right of residence and rights of uh, uh, establishment, of course, together with all these agreements that I've mentioned. One of the other advantages of the ESC is the vast resources, especially minerals, throughout the country, throughout the continent. We have quite a deposit of uh, minerals that can uh, produce electric cars, lithium batteries, hydrogen batteries, and, and like other regions. We end up with uh, minerals like titanium, flospar, zirconium, gold, oil, gas, cobalt, nickel, diamonds, copper, coal, and iron ore. Everything is in Africa. And we're open for business. Apart from the region's investment in agricultural businesses, supported by rich souls, it is an excellent prospect for investment in renewable energy, but I think the minister will speak to that later. There is also a huge potential for the maritime industry. It's one of the areas that has been completely undeveloped. The great rivers and lakes of the Southland community have not been exploited. The River Congo, the River Nile, our lakes, 
Victoria, Tanganyika, ETC. Those are all areas that are available for investment. Uh, given substantial investment access to and required by, by the uh, energy and promote resilience. We are looking uh, towards uh, activating the third and fourth pillars of integration, namely the monetary union, which will enable us to issue a single currency to facilitate trade in the region. And eventually, we shall also be looking at the political confederation that is required to improve our governance and management of our affairs. Therefore, the East African Regional Development and Cooperation Strategy is founded on the following three priorities. Promoting it in regional partner institutions as a local solution, supporting the regional institutions in achieving long-term sustained development goals in the ESC by increasing institutional strength and leadership, expertise, as they work with stakeholders to advance mutually beneficial policies and address threats. Intra-regional economic integration and trade as a means to growth, improving market access across borders, reducing barriers to trade, and facilitating smart policy. Uh, these are requirements uh, that will facilitate the farms and laborers take full advantage of the global economy, foster equitable and sustainable growth. We will also have a common passport, but I think uh, Mr. Goa will speak to that. We have a, a, pass, a East African passport to ease uh, our movement within the region. We also have the strategy of regional resilience to internal and external shocks. We partner with the regional institutions to identify and address urgent and immediate threats to economic and political stability, including food insecurity and transnational threats such as the rise of violent extremism to secure sustainable uh, growth. We, are, uh, we have in the region uh, the legal regime for joint ventures, strategic alliances, franchising, licensing agreements, equity investments, mergers and acquisitions, private pub public partnerships, technology transfer, research and development, supply chain partnerships, export and distribution agreements, training capacity building and shared services. Hopefully, we shall have some technocrats look at this in collaboration with our investors in this house today so that we can establish the best line of fit and how far the policy end can go. I want to assure the, that within the East African community, we have a robust competition law, or equally we have the mergers law, and the domestic jurisdictions have also enacted the domestic legislation along the same lines. Uh, it's therefore important that entrepreneurs team up with the ESC and uh, our people here to on critical aspects like increased competitiveness, diversification of investments, enhanced business practices, policy and regulatory improvements, cultural exchange and collaboration, local business development, enhanced market access, knowledge and technology transfer, and generally uh, economic development. We can benefit from the abundance of resources, economies of scale, which come with this large market. It's my prayer that today we shall identify and chart a path we can cooperate and mutually meet our other needs. We also want to assure you that if you have a very big international conference, the place to go is Munyonyo. And I'm glad that uh, Dr. Sudiri is here. We hosted the non aligned Movement successfully together with the uh, non aligned Summit. All this uh, is a capacity which has been built in the country. Uh, tourism is another area. If you want a good holiday, Uganda is the place to be. Go to Kenya, go to Tanzania, you can go to Zanzibar. All of these are places that uh, you need to visit in your lifetime. So I want to thank you for listening to me. Have a good conference. Thank you so much.